Are you married? Y'all listen to no. this. Do you want to be married? Yes. Do you want children? I yes. really miss Kevin. Do you think your husband will be a, a musician, an actor, or an athlete? In firing his gun, John Brown has merely told what time of day it is. It is high noon. Thank God. William Lloyd Garrison. You guys that watch my videos know that I like to find connections between things. When I saw this particular connection, a light bulb went off in my head and I just, I couldn't unsee it. So this gentleman to my left is John Brown. If you know anything about the Civil War, I'm a Civil War buff, by the way, you know that he was an abolitionist and he tried to get the slaves to uprise against, you know, the South. And what's interesting about his story is he wasn't necessarily very successful, even in the uprising, he was, he failed. But two things came out of that. There was a very visceral reaction to what he tried to do. And there was a very visceral reaction in his passing. Ralph Waldo Emerson likened Brown to Christ. Nathaniel Hawthorne declared, no man ever more justly hanged. And Herman Melville called him the meteor of the war. Am I comparing Kevin Samuels to a historical figure that was the catalyst for the war that reshaped America? Not directly. But what I am saying is that in his message while he was here and his passing and the reaction to his passing, it is still a very hot situation. There are people dug in on both sides and this far out from his passing, you still see the temperature is still as hot as it was when he left. Are you married? Y'all listen to no. this. Do you want to be married? Yes. Do you want children? I yes. really miss Kevin. Do you think your husband will be a, a musician, an actor, or an athlete? Probably. Kevin be giving it to him. <laughs> I'm serious. Those are the men that I've dated. This man was so funny to me. 29. No. I don't know. I mean, I have a, I have a pretty good resume. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Your, your roster of uh, dicks is, is nice, but you got no wedding rings. Oh, no. The interesting thing I see about Kevin is that usually people fall in one or two sides. You have the people that are staunch supporters and support everything he says. And then you have people on the other side who basically see him as just the devil incarnate. And you can see both of those still dug in almost a year after his passing, still going back and forth. This is the creator of the Facebook post. I just don't take him seriously. It's all comedy to me because everything he said isn't realistic. Now, you know, people, you see the laughing emojis. He was actually realistic. The delivery was harsh. Y'all didn't like it. And you see oh, that gets a lot of likes. Then you are the comedian here because he was so realistic. Again, more likes. And then on the other side, Miss this guy for what? Truth is, his mission was to kill self-esteem of black women and broken black men was cheering that mess on. Everything was geared around looks from what I saw. I stopped watching, so his messages were not funny or nor important to me. I'm sure he was loved by his family and friends, but the impact didn't help the black community, only pan us against each other, something we need less of. So you see that there are people that are detractors, right? Still to this day, the only thing he's under now is six feet toxic ASS. He wanted us to be married so bad because no one married his mama. No disrespect, God bless his soul, but come on people, the guy was married twice and in each ending in divorce. Why is his advice so relevant to y'all? Wouldn't y'all want to get advice from someone who with a lasting marriage make it make sense? And of course the response, because you knew you're going to get it. Didn't y'all listen to Derek Jackson and Steve Harvey? Folks hated KS simply because he told y'all the truth and didn't sugarcoat it. He did the same with men and men didn't whine, they improved. People who understand what Kevin Samuels was trying to do understand that his mission was noble. He was actually trying to get black families back together. People took issue with how he did it and his tone and all of that, but he had a noble mission. And so when people saw the reaction to not just him, but his passing, it took the movements that were SYSBM and passport bros that were you know, somewhat normal movements and turn them into forest fires. And now there is no room for negotiation. It, the, the time for negotiation has passed. Just like John Brown was a catalyst for a reshaping event for the country, the passing of Kevin Samuels is going to do the same for black dating. 
the sides are so far apart now that we're going to see something very different in black dating in 20 or 30 years and it's all because of kevin samuels and the reaction to him and his passing and so when i talk about john brown what i'm really saying is that we're going to see a reshaping of the black dating landscape of which we haven't really seen before it's going to be very interesting because passport bros and sysbm we got a new horizon coming and we do not know what it looks like thanks for watching like subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video take care guys